Hey everybody, this is Jeremy Siskind. I am the author of this book, Playing Solo Jazz Piano. And today I want to show you an improv game that I play, which reminds me of one of my favorite pianists, Keith Jarrett. Um, Keith Jarrett, amazing solo pianist, amazing trio pianist, improvised full concerts, had an experimental European quartet, an American quartet. Um, I mean, just all around musical legends, one of my heroes. Um, and one of the things that I admire the most about him is his sense of melody when he improvises. Um, and one of the things that I've noticed as I've kind of been studying and transcribing his solos is he really focuses on the diatonic scale a lot. If you don't know that word diatonic, that means that you're just sticking with the major scale without adding any extra passing tones, neighbor tones, anything like that. And so I devised this game in which I would try to stick with the diatonic scale, the scale that's the home scale of the key, even as the chords changed. So if my piece is in C major, right, I'm going to improvise using only the white keys even when the chords change. And usually what this means is that I'm gonna have to avoid some notes. I'm gonna have to be a little bit clever, a little bit sneaky about how I'm gonna go about this. So for example, I'll show you with the tune All of Me. Now All of Me starts in, with a C major chord and then it goes to an E7. Now, a lot of jazz theory would kind of think that E7, you're going to use a mixolydian scale. So you'd have at least three sharps. I think we could debate about whether that scale is actually the best one to use. Um, but you probably wouldn't be using a C major scale, particularly because of that A natural. So we're going to treat that as kind of an avoid note. Um, so listen, I'm going to improvise over these first chords. And the opportunity that we have using the major scale is just to make this incredibly melodic. So, okay, so I didn't play that A when I got to the E7. And then as we get to this A7, we probably have different avoid notes. Probably this D now becomes the avoid note. Now, even though this chord has a C sharp, I would say we could actually still use the C natural because this is the sharp nine of the dominant chord. Then we get to D minor. So I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit with you. Um, I'm going to play this entire piece with all of the chords changing, but I'm not going to change scale. I'm just gonna be clever about avoiding notes. Um, and as you listen to Keith Jarrett trio recordings, you'll hear a lot of times for the first chorus or maybe even for the first two choruses, he's using this device. He's playing almost exclusively diatonic. So check it out. So. sneak in one little grace note, um, but the whole time I'm using that C major scale. And what that allows me to do is try to really play great melodies the entire time. So instead of thinking about scales, chords, bebop, you know, I could play really chromatically and I could hit all of those chord tones, but it feels like a slightly different exercise to play using just that diatonic scale. So I would encourage you to try that um, with some of your favorite tunes. Um, see if you can keep the scale of the one chord and just avoid notes that don't necessarily go with that scale. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.